My name is Christine Mao, and I'm the curator at the William J. Clinton Presidential Library in Little Rock, Arkansas. The collection consists of about 100,000 to 140,000 items. We don't quite have a final number yet. We are still going through everything that came to us from Washington, D.C. We have lots of gifts, things that the American people thought that Bill Clinton would like to own. Um, we have videotapes, we have um, DVDs, we have portraits of them done by adults, by children, by everyone. We have we have portraits on notebook paper, we have portraits on oil, beautiful things. Um, we have a lot of t-shirts and baseball caps in our collection. Probably about 25% of our collection almost is baseball caps and t-shirts. These were given to President Clinton as if he visited some place and they wanted to give him a memento of their town or their organization or something like that. Sometimes they have causes on them too. Um, we have some NAFTA items, t-shirts and things like that that relate to a specific event. But the collection really represents what was important to the American people during the presidency of Bill Clinton, what they thought was important to send to the president during the presidency. And I think that's one of the most interesting things about our collection. Those things are all here, as long, uh, along with the head of state gifts. Those are also here in our collection. Those are items that were given to the president in an official capacity. Gifts given to the head of one government from the he by the head of another government. These are some of the head of state gifts that we have in our collection that I thought you might be interested in seeing. This first one here, we call it a, the horse clock. It's a lovely piece. Um, it's got malachite on the bottom and silver and gold, and the horse is silver. Um, it's a gift from Prince Aziz in Saudi Arabia. It was given to President Clinton when he visited Washington in 1998. This piece right here is a nativity scene that was given to President Clinton by Yasser Arafat on one of his visits to the United States in 1997, I think it was. What's it made out of? Um, Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Different colors and... On the cart here we have a few other things. With a great hat. I do like this hat. Because it says on the front, Bill Clinton Washington, D.C., 52nd Presidential Inaugural. Just looks like a regular old hat. But then, the magic hat. It pops open, if I can get it to stay. And you have a little city scene of Washington, D.C. inside the hat. It was given by a donor, just an American citizen who lives in Virginia. Nice little piece. We have these great tennis shoes that a man in California made, painted for the president. It's a presidential seal on the side with Bill Clinton. I think I'll show you the backs. The backs say numero uno and the chief. <laughs> and 42nd, it's got 42nd president right here. 42nd president. Nice piece. Not something you see every day. This is an interesting piece. This is actually a campaign piece that was given to President Clinton by a, um, a donor from England, actually. I don't know how they got it or why they have it, but you can plug this into your outlet in your car and it lights up. It's a brake light that says, Go for Clinton when you press the brakes. I like that too. It's a great box. It says, For the director of a play that covers the world stage. It's actually a paperweight. Let me get the cover off here. It's a giant aspirin. It's made out of ceramic, I think. Yeah, ceramic. What goes through your mind as these uh, gifts come in? Uh, well, these, are, these have been here as we find them. We found a lot of these when we were doing the inventory. Um, you usually call someone over and say, look what we found today. Um, we were keeping a file of the really cool things that we find so we can find them back more easily. So when people like you want to see them, we have a file of things that are great. This is another one we like a lot. Do you recognize it? It's Mr. Rogers' trolley. It's a wooden model of the trolley. And on the top, 
Let me tip it so you can see it. For the Clinton family, with love, from your friends in the neighborhood, Fred Rogers, 1993. Isn't that nice? I've seen a photo of him giving this to President Clinton, and President Clinton just has his head thrown back and he's laughing. It's really nice, and Mr. Rogers is sitting next to him on a park bench. This is um, a voting machine from the year 2000. It was used in Dade County, Florida. And it's one of the infamous machines that were controversial during the 2000 election. It's um, got some, the, the instructions we've looked at before, and they're a little confusing, but you slide the ballot in, and then you use the stylus to punch a hole into the, into the ballot. The stylus is quite small, but this is one of the, so what it would produce, everyone knows as chads. We actually have a bag of the chads that came out of the machine. One of our staff members spent hours collecting all those from the bottom of the, from the bottom of the voting machine, put them all in baggies. So our next piece is a music stand from the Hot Springs Jazz Band, the dance band, as it's sometimes called. Uh, Bill Clinton played in the Star in the Stardusters band in the 1960s when he was in high school. This might or might not be from this time period. We're not exactly positive, but um, it is from the 1960s. It was found in a basement in Hot Springs in 1969, and someone kept it until a few years ago when they donated it to us. Thought we might like to have it, and we said, yes, please. We would love to have this in our collection. So it's a great piece. It's had some conservation work done on it, but it's made out of masonite, and it comes in a couple of pieces so they could carry it with them. What do you find to be the, the best part and maybe even worst part about your job? Um, I think the best part is you never know what you're going to see. You never know what you're going to find. Um, we're opening up all these boxes and it's almost like Christmas every day. You look at them and you don't know exactly what you're going to find. Um, I, I, that's definitely the best part. The worst part, I can't think of anything <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> it's all fun. Um, we get to take care of great things. Um, some of our stuff looks really new. So it's sometimes people say, well, why do you wear gloves when you tr carry that brand new thing around that looks like you just bought it yesterday? But we're preserving it for the future, so we don't want to leave our hand oils on it now. So in a couple hundred years, it's damaged. We take care of everything from the start this way.